Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was recently today a magnitude 5.5 earthquake in the Banda Sea. It was 182.8 kilometers deep or 113 miles deep. Four people reported feeling this earthquake and one of those reports came all the way from Australia. In geology, this area is the newest area of the ring of fire and the fastest movement of the breakup of the continents. Um, this is the location of that 5.5. And down here is Australia. And the area that it was reported was here in Darwin City. Australia is a quickly fast moving continent that recently in uh, geology time separated from Antarctica. This whole area, this whole arch, is the recent formation because of the continents dividing, separating. This is the newest hot spot of the ring of fire here on our planet. Two of the felt reports reported on EMSC. One says they were sitting on a couch and felt it shake for about 10 seconds. That report came from Tiwi, Australia. And then another one, it says, yes, I thought it may have been a tremor earlier before this notification came through. Even so, slight detection here in Darwin City, Northern Territory, Australia. I always check out the surface of water in my drinking water bottle. If it was one, those ones that you can't be sure about. It's always a giveaway for a slight tremor detection. Thanks for the confirmation. I found a video file, if you want to call it that. It's from 3D Globe, um, portalgplates.org, showing the separation of Australia from Antarctica. Now this is an image from 240 million years ago. And I'll play this for you, showing the separation of Australia from Antarctica. And you can see the different fault lines that are opening up. They got them highlighted in different colors. And near the top is what the current ring of fire is as it moves through. Now this is um, 117, 16 million years ago. The separation of the continents. Yeah, I thought it was very interesting to watch the movement of um, this continent. And this is the youngest, one of the youngest continents to actually separate. And it's one of the fastest moving areas. So here we got 42 million years ago, 35 million years ago. A lot of people will argue about that, saying that uh, the Earth isn't that old. And I'll pull this up. See, we got the new ring of fire. This is 16 million years ago. See how it's curving around? 3 million years ago and present. This is what we got now. So as you know, the Australian plate is moving underneath the Pacific plate and um, the other areas up there in Asia. We got the Bandan Sea, ring of volcanic islands. And I tried to map out a lot of the earthquakes, major earthquakes in Australia throughout time, going back to uh, the 1800s. But because of the remoteness, and the lack of population in a lot of these areas there wasn't a lot of damage i was really surprised that christ church area let me see if i can find it has had several at least three significant earthquakes that did a lot of damage in 1868 1925 and um 1986. they were not very strong earthquakes, but because of the way the land is formed, they did do a lot of damage. Another area for potential 
damaging earthquakes, destructive earthquakes, would be down here in the south of Australia in the area called Bass Strait. They have what's called the Seluan Fault. Sorry for pronouncing that wrong. But there's been several major earthquakes in this location. 1922, a 5.7. 1932, a 4.5. 1855, a 5.5. Uh, 1946, a 6.2. Um, 1855, a 5.7. Like I said, not large uh, for what would be considered in other places around the world but they do do a lot of damage and we'll come up up along the coast here we got one here a 6.5 in 1897 1903 a 5.3 um gulf of st vincent 1902 a 6.2 these here are recent earthquakes that were on the uh, Australian Geological website. Yeah, we had a 2.2, um, another 2.0, a 2.6. That was reported as being felt. Even a 1.9, they said, was felt. And a 2.6 that people reported feeling. And then we got more over here near um, Mekingern. Uh, 1968 a 6.5, 1979 a 6.1, um, 2010 a 5.2. The strongest earthquake I found there in Australia, I'll give a link to the page that lists all these earthquakes, was a 7.1 by Meebury, and that was in 1941, again a 7.1. Then up north, you think there'd be more of them because of the movement of the Australian plate, but there was a 6.3 in 1997 and in 1975 a 6.2. And I'll bring that in by King Sound. Most of the geological studies for Australia have been done by the oil and gas um, companies. Um, there's a lot of development up here in the northern part of Australia. But I thought that was interesting, that this is the newest hot spot here on the Earth. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you probably could expect more. And Australia does have a record of damaging earthquakes. But because of the sparsity of the population, um, yeah, deaths and damage has been relatively small. So if any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. You can also follow me on Twitter, and I am also on Patreon if you want to support my work. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.